make a good night lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a story about our good old friend, Bear. And I really like this book, because in this book, Bear says something that makes me happy. The name of this book is Bear Says Thanks. Bear says thanks. I love it when people are thankful and they say thank you to people who do things for them. And I think in this book, Bear has a lot to be thankful for. We need to get into this book and find out why Bear says thanks. Are you ready to get into this book with our friend Bear? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Bear Says Thanks, written by Karma Wilson, illustrated by Jane Chapman. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboard, and the cupboard is bare. Oh, poor bear. He wants to make a big dinner for his friends because he misses them, but he doesn't have any food in the house. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie. And the bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. He's so grateful for the pie, but he feels bad that he doesn't have anything for his friend the mouse. Then they hear, hi ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hare hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Wow, all of Bear's friends are coming by his cave. Brrrr, says Badger as he trumps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles where wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. Wow, Badger brought fish. Hare brought muffins. Mouse brought pie. Then Gopher and Mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. Wow, more friends. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters Owl with Raven and Wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. All of his friends. This is wonderful. And the bear says, wait. <gasps> Why did the bear say wait? Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Oh, the friends all brought him things and he feels bad that he doesn't have anything for them. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, there's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food, you have stories to share. His friends hug him tight, it will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. Oh look, they have all the food for their feast and they're all gathering around Bear. In a cave in the woods in a warm bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet, and they chatter, and they all say thank you. Oh, that made me so happy. Everybody is saying thank you. Everybody realizes they have so much to be thankful for. Bear was sitting alone in his den and he was feeling kind of sad and he wanted to do something nice for his friends, but he didn't have anything. He didn't have any food in his cupboard. He didn't have anything to share. And then his friends came over and all started sharing with him. And he kept saying, thanks, thanks, 
thanks, but he still wanted to do something nice for them. And they said, Bear, just tell us a story. We love when you tell us stories. And he did. And then everybody says, thanks. This was a good book because everybody was so thankful. And because Bear told stories. And Miss Dorothy loves when people tell stories. I love reading stories to you. I would love for you to read a story to me. You're going to have to think about doing that now that you're getting bigger and you're learning how to read. I would love to hear you read a story. I would say thanks to you. And I do think of you and say thanks all the time. I'm very thankful for you. In fact, I'm so thankful for you, I'm going to thank God for you tonight. Why don't you take a minute and pray with Miss Dorothy about the things that you can be thankful for. Fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for my friends. Thank you that they keep coming back to hear me read the stories. Lord, please help them to remember to be thankful when someone does something nice for them. Remember to say thank you. And God... We want to thank you especially for how you love us and watch over us and provide for us. Thank you, God, for being you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little bear, time for you to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when somebody does something nice for you, remember, say thanks. It makes everybody feel good. And show mom and dad how thankful you are for how much they do for you. You know how you can do that? You can obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read to you. And I will say thanks for coming to see me. Until then, bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.